What's going on guys, World Watch Else back again with another video for you guys. I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening. Finally, I'm here doing a video. Yesterday night, I travelled 80 miles out of London to stay at a hotel near a beach. Margate, of course, come back 80 miles back. Traffic, I wanted to upload 8pm UK time, didn't happen. 9pm UK time, then I realised Leon and City were playing. I thought, you know what, everyone's busy watching football. Let's wait for that to finish and then we all upload. And here we are today right now watching this video um i told you guys as soon as i take a break from youtube there's going to be big chelsea news and i was right man and i see all your comments all your love which i'll be getting into as well but as always i give the latest chelsea news and last 12 hours news in news out i always ask for about 300 350 likes let's push up to 400 likes if you want to help out this channel smash that like button subscribe if you're new here hit the notification tune in daily and comment down below your thoughts and opinions as always i see every single one of your comments i try to respond to as many as i can i like all the comments of course some of you saying i'm one of the best youtubers around chelsea community which means a lot to me some saying i'm the best and honestly it means a lot this is why i do it honestly this is why i do it. i just want to interact with every single one of you i have been saying i need to do a stream i will do a stream very very soon and some of you guys have been asking for the season review some of you asking to summarize the transfer when they're in and out which i'll be needing to do very very soon but right now Let's get straight into topics. Ben Chilwell, many Chelsea fans don't want him. Many Chelsea fans do want him. I'm not his number one uh, fan right now, but I need to jump on the Chilwell train, okay? Now, yesterday, Leicester sources come out and say that Ben Chilwell packed his bags after training. This was yesterday. The Times come out immediately after saying Chelsea are closing in on a deal to sign Ben Chilwell after a breakthrough in talks. It's understood that recent talks between the two clubs of Ben Chilwell there was a massive uh, breakthrough over the proposed fee, which could be a world record for a left back. Now, as I said, I don't want it to be 60, 70, 80 million pounds on this player. If it's 45, 50 million pounds, I'm all up for it. 50 at max. Same with Declan Rice. I'm going to keep repeating it until people understand that, yes, I will back Ben Chilwell. I will support him. Lampard wants him. Ash Cole wants him. But the fee has to be right. If you're signing world class players like Hakim Ziyech, for 33 million pounds with bonus fees or performance fees taking up to 38 million pounds. Moretta being more expensive than Timo Werner. Um, you know, if Timo Werner was about 47 million pounds at the end of the day. So why are we gonna spend that much money for an English international? What I'm trying to say is English talents are overpriced. Now, I'm gonna jump on the chill train. I need to support him. I saw the responses in his tweets recently yesterday. It was disgusting. The guy hasn't even joined Chelsea. People sending him hate, abuse, and I just don't understand. This is not Chelsea Football Club. This is not the fans of Chelsea, okay? There's like kids on Twitter giving it all talk behind the screen, no picture. You know what I mean? Like, you know how it goes. Like, people talk a lot of nonsense behind the screens. That's what I'm trying to say. Ignore them. A very small amount of people, okay? The main Chelsea fan base, the one that give actual opinions, don't hide behind the screen, will tell you, yes. Chilwell is not our number one target, but we need to back Frank Lampard. The board are backing Frank Lampard. They're giving him what he wants, the squad that he wants to you know, provide us, and challenge for the titles in the next couple of years. So guys, Ben Chilwell you know, will be a Chelsea player very, very soon. Whether it's before Kai Havertz, after Kai Havertz, he will be a Chelsea player. The two players I can say right now is Kai Havertz, Ben Chilwell, 100%. I'll be very surprised if neither of them join. I'll be surprised if one of them don't join. Um, of course, I want Sergio. Any other wingers? Ben Rahma, maybe. Other than that, I don't know who else will be coming in. There's talks on the keeper that we are getting into. But a few stats for Ben Chiro. Now, he's 23 years old. His Premier League stats is quite decent. Six goals and assists total, of course. 1.3 key passes per game. 1.6 tackles per game. Two clearances per game. Zero errors leading to a goal. Very, very important stat for me. Because defensively, Chelsea... You know, defence let us down every single game. So, for my left back, we shouldn't be expecting anything like that. 60% 60, 60 aerial duel success rate. Don't know what happened. I don't know why. It's been a very long day. Hopefully, you guys can figure me that. Right? <laughs> Honestly, man, I love doing videos. Even though it's late night, this is just for you guys. But, yeah, overall, those stats right there. Ben Chill, very, very good. Plenty of promise, like London Football said. Go follow him on Twitter. I get a lot of information from some of my friends around social media. I just want to help out people. People help me out. We all grow. We all enjoy Chelsea content, of course. So, yeah, that is what you know Ben Chilwell can bring to Chelsea Premier League experience. And I feel Chelsea fans 
need to support him now. Okay, he will be a Chelsea player very, very soon. Now, goalkeeper, no Oblak, Onana, finding some news on Nick Pope. Now, of course, Dean Jones from the Bleacher Report has come out and said, Burnley are looking at Jack Butland in case Chelsea sign Nick Pope. Now, of course, they're aware that Chelsea are looking for a goalkeeper. Fabrizio Romano has said there will be a new goalkeeper at Stamford Bridge next season. It won't be Kepa in goal, 100%. He did say it won't be Oblak if we sign Kai Havertz. Why can't we get both? I'm not sure. I feel like there's going to be a lot of players leaving the club very soon. The revenue is there, so I don't really understand what the case is with that. But regardless, Oblak will be a dream come true. But it looks like Nick Pope or Nana are the main two targets for Chelsea. Let me know in the comments below who you want to see. It's the same with Ben Chilwell. Experience in the Premier League with Nick Pope. Simple as that. Onana for me, shot stopper, Champions League experience. Stands out a bit, but is he that much of a better upgrade on Kepa on form? I'm talking about on form. I'm not talking about right now. Of course, right now he's better. Any goalkeeper that comes in is better than uh, Kepa, of course, 100%. But when Kepa was at his best, is he better than Onana? Let me know. Now, of course, Kai Havertz, I'm not going to speak too much on this topic. I'm going to keep you guys up to date. I told you every single little update on Kai Havertz will be reported on this channel. Now, the CEO of Bayer Leverkusen has spoken. It was always clear we will have talks once the Europa League concluded. Kai Havertz has voiced his desire to make the next step. At the moment, I can't say whether this will work out in the near future or not. This guy is just basically trying to scare Chelsea fans, trying to make Chelsea get this deal sorted. He knows Kai Havertz wants to leave. He knows Kai Havertz has agreed personal terms. Chelsea need to get this fee sorted, okay? I'm not going to lie to you, I don't understand why it's taking too long. Okay, there might be things behind the scenes that take a lot more time. But, come on. We know Kai Havertz wants to join Chelsea. Why is it taking so long? We need to get this still sorted. Timo Werner didn't take that long, in my opinion. Of course, I'm going to be patient because I know it will happen. But I just want to give the Chelsea fans the news that we finally got the deal over the line, okay? Everyone has acknowledged that no one else is going to be buying Kai Havertz. The CEO is also talking about other clubs interested but for next season like the following season after the next one okay so Chelsea fans should be signing Kai Havertz and Ben Chilwell 100% whether it's Nick Pope or Nana as I said I don't know whether it will happen over one window okay I, I see it like a Liverpool window where they're trying to get overdone like two windows because no club really can sell every single Deadwood in the club and expect to sign players straight away it does take time um, the rebuilding process of course takes time as well so I'm going to be keeping eyes on all reports, all players in and out. Of course, keeping you guys up to date as always. Um, of course, Alex Goldberg, a very, very popular person on social media. He's got a fantastic podcast, The Byline. Go, you know, subscribe to it. Patreon, I think about $2 minimum. Um, he brings on fantastic guests, value for money. Um, he's got a number of Chelsea players that actually came on the pod as well. So the podcast is popping. It's fantastic content basically something that you don't really you know search for and can hear so go support the guy he's got jan age of course someone that's very close with the habits news um he come out and said if i was to tell you chelsea have agreed 85 million fee to sign kai at 60 million up front and it is now about how it's structured would it be realistic and of course the reporter said yes i think so i'm 100 percent sure they'll find a way and i feel they will find a way as well 100 percent. so we shall see what happens with that william is an Arsenal player. People are finding old videos of me with William in 2016 on Cheeky Sport. I'm telling you guys now, I was the OG of posting Chelsea pictures and videos before anyone on social media, 100%. I can assure you that, which is why Conte tweets, my first account on Twitter was the breakthrough to become a big account on there. Uh, what would Chelsea come after that as well? Both accounts were suspended. I lost 26,000 followers, 20,000 followers. And now I'm just focused on YouTube because I just want to talk to you guys directly like this. You know what I mean? So guys, I really, really hope you enjoy all these updates. Um, I'm back, of course, every single day. Um, the channel just grown. The channel just grown so much. I can't even explain how much it's just grown. I'm just looking at the views and stuff, and I'm like, damn, is it that good? Are you guys actually watching it that much? I need to upload every single day for you guys, and I appreciate everyone that's been. You know supporting the channel man like i read every single i honestly read every single comment even at 2 a.m 3 a.m i read comments and i respond to people i swear down 
I swear down. So guys, if you enjoy my content, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and comment down below your thoughts or opinions on each topic I speak. I've not worn this watch in about five months, and I have to bring it out since COVID, of course. So yeah, I thought I'd just let you guys know that. But what watch else, guys? I'm out. Stay tuned tomorrow, hopefully 1 p.m. UK time, we get some more news. Peace.